I wanted to improve the geometry of the steering so that I could ride with no hands in the steering bar which was impossible with the last design. For this build I made knuckles with four mounting points that will provide four different amounts of trail to see if I can ride with no hands just by changing trail. So for this video I made a couple of changes. First, the type of ball joints that go into the wishbones. I prefer this type because as we saw in the other video with the other type I don't have enough steering. So with these ball joints I prefer to sacrifice the amount of tilting but keep uh, as much steering as I need. This changes nothing of the steering and uh, suspension geometries apart from the range. Second, I made uh, this knuckle, the star of this show, that uh, accommodates this type of ball joints and it has four holes, four positions for the wheel axle. The four mounting points will allow us to adjust the trail and this is pretty roughly made but it will work. A couple of notes of uh, making this. I started from a block of aluminium that I cut, grinded, made holes, welded, made threads. Well, this all put together, I think I spent about 12 hours making both the knuckles. So because it's just a test, I thought I would save myself some money and uh, make it myself. That's of course if you don't value your hours and if it's okay for your build to have a part roughly made. When I do value my time or if I want parts perfectly made or if I just can't do them at home, I usually reach out to one of my manufacturing partners. JLC CNC offers CNC machining services with multiple fabrication techniques at a competitive price, fast turnaround and with a reliable quality. Some parts of this trike are actually made by their 3D printing department, like the pulleys here for the steering. JLC CNC are a supporter of this project and I'm proud to recommend them to you. If you need something CNC machined or fabricated in any other way, Check out the link to their website in the description and get yourself a great service. All right, so let's talk about the geometries of this thing. It has 12 degrees of kingpin inclination, 15 degrees of caster, two degrees of camber, it will have zero degrees of toe angle and with these mounting points we'll have four different sizes of trail. With this one we'll have the same as the other video which was 67 millimeters. I'll mount the wheel in the default position first for the first test. In the meantime, I noticed that when the wheel is mounted in the position with most trail, it hits the frame there in the cargo area. So I cut the frame so I can continue with the tests. So just before going to the tests, let me introduce the concept of steering into the fall in a bike. When you tilt it in one direction, it steers into that direction and this is what allows you to ride with no hands. You can just tilt it and it steers there compensating and allowing the bike to be straight again. So let's then finally mount the wheel and get on with the tests. And first we do this. We tilt the trike and we see the steering turning into the direction of the fall. Not as much as with the bike but a little bit. So let's see how this goes. 
Well, this geometry has already been tested in the last video with the other type of ball joints, but it's always good to go for a ride and feel it sort of like a reset. And kind of feel what I felt the other time when trying to go no hands, is that can kind of do it, but uh, not much. I just wish it would be a little bit easier, which kind of motivated this video. So let's start the real tests. With this axle mount, the axle will be a little bit in front of the steering axis, reducing the trail to 37 millimeters. And now the steering into the fall doesn't work as much anymore. And this can be felt when trying to ride with no hands. What happens now is because there's no compensation with tilting causing steering, now I tilt too much and when I go and grab the wheel I just need to compensate it so much. It definitely got worse. Yeah, this is much worse. So let's put the axle in a position where the contact patch stays actually ahead 3 millimeters of the steering axis. And I got no steering into the fall whatsoever. I already feel like this is going to be a short test. And uh, I'm afraid of getting the hands off the steering wheel because it just so... Yeah, it, whoa, this is just all kinds of terrible. Yeah, this is the worst mount. So most expectations for last with the axle behind the steering axis and with the increased trail compared to the original of 30 millimeters. So a trail of 97 millimeters. This is where we have most steering into the fall action. So it looks promising. Yeah, this is incredible. So what happens now is that I can control the steering with my hip. So I tilt the vehicle left and right as I want to compensate the steering and it goes there. It's just so cool that you can change something in your design and then you can ride with no hands. Look at that. I'm so happy to have made these tests. I mean, it's so cool. I can just ride with no hands now. And just to finish the explanation, see how it works when I'm holding the seat. I can tilt the vehicle left and right and steer like that. This is what allows you on a bike or in a tilting track to ride with no hands. Now I change the trail to be minus 3 millimeters and see how it behaves. I'm tilting the track left and it keeps going right and then there it goes but I'm tilting it right there's no way you can do this while arriving it just doesn't work this is one of the most satisfying experiments I've done with this track geometry I was able to change just one geometry to test one specific aspect and we arrived to a conclusion. So I'm pretty satisfied with all the geometries. So what I'll do now is make a proper build with the well-made parts. And uh, it's been a while since I published drawings as well because I've, done, I've been doing different tests. So I'll make uh, good drawings and a proper build with the geometries that exist now. This will be like the final one. Maybe in the next one I'll even put uh, front brakes. Wouldn't that be something? 
Um, yeah, see me next time. Cheers.